At the moment, Arabic subtitle is available for this video and you can find it by going to settings and switching the subtitles from English to Arabic. And there you go, you will start seeing the Arabic subtitles. upon you uh, we are back again in a new video but today's video is very special because it's about the city library of Nuremberg and uh, with this library I have a lot of memories to share and I think uh, this was one of the contributors to my success in Germany and in this video I will explain to you with the steps how to register in this library what are the general rules when you get into such a public place and we will go in a little tour with the manager of this library where she will explain to us what each department uh, consists of and what you can find in there. I will also show you how to find the book you are looking for or the media you are looking for. Plus, we will see together the process of uh, borrowing a book and also returning it. I really, really love this library because uh, when I came first uh, to Germany, I didn't know where to start. I didn't know where to start learning also the language and uh, where to find a source of information. For example, I had to do a TOEFL test, but I needed to prepare for this and looking on the internet was really overwhelming to me. So what I had to do is just to come here, find the few books and study them. And because of that, I could really get uh, better in English language and I also got into the university and then got a job. So I think it was one of the contributors why I also uh, found success in Germany. So that being said, let's go into the library and have our little tour. So before we go in, since it's a public place, you have to wear the mask. So uh, we have here for support uh, Ms. Eva Dick, and she is uh, the manager of the main library in Nuremberg City and uh, she will uh, give us a little tour and uh, explanation about this uh, great library. So she will be speaking in German or a little bit of English and I will translate when necessary. So we have a different library, here's the biggest one and the central library and um, we have also six smaller libraries around the city. Yeah. So, hier haben wir die Rezeption. Das ist ähm, die erste Information, wenn Sie vom Haupteingang reinkommen. Hier können Sie erste Fragen stellen, erste Informationen bekommen und wenn Sie wissen wollen, wo Sie hingehen müssen, um Ihre Sachen zu finden. Mm -hmm. So here you will find the information desk, where you can ask all your questions, how to get to somewhere, where you have to find a book or any questions you have in general. And you can, of course, also ask about registration or other stuff. Uh, so for the registration process, of course, you can do everything online. You can check the website and we will do this together in a moment. Uh, but in case you are here in place and you want to uh, register by yourself, of course, you can do it. Uh, you can ask the information and they will tell you where to go to the reg registration office and you can pay also the registration fee. So, um, when Gebühren zu bezahlen sind, können Sie das hier an den äh, Kassenautomaten machen, entweder mit Bargeld oder mit EC-Karte. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to pay the registration fee, you can do it easily with either the EC-Karte, which is just the uh, card of your bank, or you can pay uh, also what we call bar, which also means cash. And in case you don't know the German language, you can also switch to other languages. So you have English, Turkish and also Russian. Corona-Zeiten haben wir jetzt diese Ampel, die zählt einmal, wie viele Personen in der Bibliothek sind, mm -hmm. weil wir natürlich auch nur eine bestimmte Anzahl reinlassen dürfen. Und 
gibt Hinweise wie Maske tragen, Hände waschen, ähm, Abstand halten, die mhm. üblichen Hinweise. Ja. So, once you come inside the library, you will see that you will have what is called ein Glas Ampel. So, it's a terminal that will show you the number of visitors currently. So, once somebody in, uh, gets in, it will count plus one. And also, you will see that I it's telling me, please uh, make sure to keep the distance of one and a half meter. Make sure to wear your uh, face mask and also clean your hands and make your visit as short as possible. So once you step out, you will find the registration desk and to the left side, uh, you will find lockers so you can keep your uh, stuff uh, safe and locked. And also you can find their uh, rukgabe. So you, whatever uh, you have of books, you can return it here on the rukgabe. Behind the rukgabe, also to the left, you can find what we call Kasse Automat. And here is where you can pay your registration fees. So in this part here, you will see the books that are reserved already. So assume that somebody has uh, borrowed a book that you need, then you can uh, reserve on the webpage directly that you want this book as well, as soon as it arrives. So when the person returns the book in the Rukabe machine, the uh, people from the library will bring your book here and keep it for you with a receipt that you are the person who is reserving this and once you uh, get here you can have it to the right just directly uh, opposite to the uh, Kassen automat you will find the lockers and after uh, the lockers you have just right next to it what we call Ausleihe and the Ausleihe is basically just few stations where you can return your books and as you can see, the Ausleihe desk is right here and next to it is where you can get a receipt that you have borrowed a book. You can see also where things are. So Rukkabe is this way and uh, Kassang Automat is that way, like here. Bereitgestellte Medien is what we showed to you, the reservations. And the Ausleihe is right here. So it's kind of self-explanatory and um, in case of any need uh, like pregnant woman or uh, some person with difficulties you can always use the Aufzug, so the elevator. You will find the elevators behind the lockers, either to the left hand side or also to the right hand side, there are two of them. And you will see again we are back to the information desk but this time from another side um, I will go forward and going to the right hand side on the right hand side you will see a little room where you can read and this is called Learnwelt so it's like uh, the word of learning and to the very very right hand side you will see the registration office so it's like uh, called the Anmeldung. Here you just have to uh, provide your Ausweis and you will directly be printed a membership card for the library. And uh, you will probably have to just show that you have paid the registration fees. And here you will find an electronic device to help you find the electronic uh, services. Here is the most important part where the library is explained pretty well. So that uh, you already know we have two parts of the buildings, uh, one to the left and one to the right. One is old and the other one is new. Um, we've explained this with Ms. Eva and you can see here how they are connected together. So you can see with a big letter here that we are in L0, the ground floor, and uh, you can see the four floors. Starting from L1, L2, L3, L4, you have at the beginning, the most important part is the Sprachenabteilung, meaning uh, the languages. This is, I think, important for everyone because here you can find really very useful books for learning languages. Um, you have at the beginning everything related to fictional books uh, or films or uh, audio books. You have also biographies, uh, you have literature and uh, you have old books. Um, on the second floor 
you have everything related to music. On the third floor, you have everything related to children or teenagers. On the fourth floor, you have the administration. This is usually not interesting for you. On the other uh, side, you, we have the old building, so it's the K building. And uh, Ms. Susanna, Ms. Susanna has just told me that it uh, returns to the 13th century, which is, wow, like amazing. <laughs> and uh, here in this uh, part of the building, you will see everything related to sciences, so mathematics, uh, computer science, uh, everything, really everything related to science. And um, this is how you can see that they are connected together and we will go in a tour with Ms. Eva later in this video. And um, we have here in the library, wherever you go, a free Wi-Fi. So also you can enjoy this uh, uh, from the library for free. You can see that uh, today we are coming in a very, very special day. Uh, it's the anniversary of the library in Nuremberg. In the year, on, on 30th, 30 December 1370, mm -hmm. there was a, a man borrowing uh, 13 books from the municipal library in Nuremberg. Wow. And that's it? Wow. That's it. <laughs> so we are so really lucky today. We uh, are coming in a good day. This year, nowadays, we have the 650th anniversary. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Eine ganz wichtige Information vielleicht auch noch, die Bibliothek besteht aus zwei Häusern, die miteinander verbunden sind. Das ist einmal hier die Treppe hoch in das alte Kloster. Sie sehen vielleicht die Backsteinmauer. Mhm. Das ist das K-Gebäude mhm. und der Teil, in dem wir hier sind, wo auch die Rezeption ist, das ist sozusagen der Neubau und das nennen wir das L-Gebäude. Okay. So the library uh, consists of two buildings. Uh, we were in the first one, which is what we call the new building. Stair. And we have here over the stairs the other building, which is the old building. And we use the letter K for it. So here sehen Sie die drei Etagen in den L-Gebäude. Einmal L1, L2, L3. So here you can see the three uh, floors of the building L. We have L1, L2, L3 and L4, but this is the administration, so mm -hmm. it's not so interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Auf L1 finden Sie die Romane, aber auch die Filme, DVD, Blu-ray und fremdsprachige Romane für Erwachsene. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the first floor you will find uh, the long story and you will also find uh, the foreigner language fiction stories, uh, films as DVDs and also CDs or uh, Blu-ray. Yeah. Und die Materialien zum Deutsch lernen und um andere Sprachen zu lernen. So Sprachkurse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Auf L1. Okay. Also you will find material for learning the German language and other languages. Okay. So I can try in English maybe the next one because it's not so difficult. So the next one is L2 and there is the music library. So you find there um, music CDs, um, or notes for playing instruments and books about um, the, all the music stuff. So like operas or concerts and stuff like this. Okay? So, and then L3. There is the German library and the library for the teenagers, uh, we call it. And then, yeah, you can find all the stuff for kids and teens um, until the age of, I think, 20 years. Mm -hmm.